Hello everyone, my name is Justin Brighthop and welcome to the Epic Amazing Awesome episode of the Unboxing Authority. On this episode today, we're going to look at some low-end desktop computers, budget um, desktop computers. But make sure that you check out how to win in court. All right. For you guys, you might be looking for on Newegg.com. Now, uh, in this video series on computers and laptops, you may find some different links down in the description on Amazon, uh, possibly better deals or whatever. So here we go. So right now we're on desktop computers. We're going to go ahead and go by lowest price and see what we can find here for a budget laptop computer. Obviously, this is not a laptop computer. We need to specify some things, I guess, in order to make sure that we are going to find a computer. So let's select DDR4 and DDR3 memory so we know we're going to get a computer. Here we go. All right. So you can buy computers like you can on eBay for like 56, 60 bucks, but you probably want a new computer. So let's go ahead and hit new and apply. Yep. Boy, new egg is becoming an eBay, isn't it? Okay, loading, 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 there we go. Okay, so now we've hit new. These are just supposed to be computers, look at this. So they have some mini PCs for like your TV or whatever that you can plug in. And you know, these could work for you. So let's go ahead and specify one that comes with uh, Windows 10 just to try to uh, you know, come up with a computer that's an actual desktop computer. Go again. Okay. So this is a desktop that's supposed to have Windows 10. Let's, it's got a very bad rating. Okay, we're going to leave the bad rating ones alone. So let's go down here and go to ratings. And we will go for the top two sections. Come on. Why is my web browser being so slow today? I don't know. It's not Blazing Hog. Okay, so lowest price, high rating. Here we go. So fanless industrial PC, mini PC, Windows, Linux, Intel, whatever. 174 bucks. Now I'm guessing this one's compatible with Windows 10. I don't think it's coming with Windows 10. Now, you do get to select your graphics, and you get to select your CPU speed, and you get to select your CPU and you can completely customize this guy. In fact, you can get it black, black silver, or business black, which I guess black and business black are different. I'm guessing business black is gray, I don't know. <laughs> but here we go. So we're gonna go down here. Now obviously this one's probably not super upgradable, um, but let's look at what we get. So we've got model number, part taker, i3, memory, we got a uh, maximum 16 gigabytes of RAM. Not sure what it comes with. Okay, we're gonna we'll just go specs. Maybe we'll find out here. So there's our i3-007 bare bone form factor mini PC, Windows 10 Pro. There we go. Okay, Celeron, uh, 1007U, 1.5 gigahertz. It's probably a single core, I'm guessing. So, cause it's an i3. So, so I think I think it's probably a single core computer. Now it has three USB ports in the front. It has four USB 3.0 ports in the back. A LAN port, speaker port, two antennas for Wi-Fi or whatever. Uh, we got VGA for an HDMI outputs. We have COM1 and COM2 because it's an industrial computer. So this is designed for running industrial applications. So it has the COM ports. Is this going to work as a personal computer? Yeah. Now, how would this stand up to a small child? Since this is in a box that's pretty much, you know, child-proof, he could break off these little antennas here. Um, he could mess with these ports and, like, grab uh, cords that are in them and yank them off, bend them, whatever. It has a 12-volt input, so it's dependent upon a 12-volt power supply. That's interesting to think about. Now, with these heat sinks on the outside, if you aren't going to give this to a small child, you could mount fans on the outside to help cool it down, boost performance, all that kind of stuff. 
but uh, I guess we could go ahead and hit add to compare. I mean, if you really want to consider this a PC, 174 bucks. All right. Let's go back here now. Let's let's. Uh, I'm not going to compare this to those other ones. Let's go ahead and grab this desktop computer here. This is an Acer. See, these things are just pocket PC things. I'm not interested in that. I want a computer. So here's here's another computer. So let's let's just go ahead and compare these guys because they actually look like computers. And uh, we got an Acer desktop that's really thin. It's in the same category. Um, here we go. Grab this one. I'm not a fan of these huge, these really, really thin ones that don't look like computers. Let's, let's go ahead and grab these. So we'll say these are the top five and with one of those weird things, weird boxes, industrial computers. So there's an Acer. Okay, we'll just, just see if we can compare these even. Is it going to let us? Yeah, okay, great. So... We started out over here with 150 to 174 dollars, depending on if you upgraded or whatnot. And it's got an i3, <laughs> mini PC, colors, Windows Home. Okay, so all of these have Windows. This one, these two say 64 bit. These just say Home and Pro. I don't know what we're doing there. If those like cheaper to do 32 bit or what the deal is. So we got dual core up here and um, an AMD FX series. See, is there like a core count on that? I guess we'll have to look. I want to see if we have a core count on where are we at with all this. Yeah, get rid of this one. So we're going to look at this and see if we have a core count, just because I'd like to know. So let's see, specs. CPU, six core. Hey, there we go. Now we got a winner. We'll look at the rest of it here. But this one right here is looking like a computer. It's got a six core CPU. Uh, one terabyte hard drive. Oh my goodness, it might last for a little bit. Um, eight gigabytes of RAM. Cyber Power, which is a good brand. Student Home Office Consumer AMD FX 6300, 3.5 gigahertz. I don't know if it has like a base clock, boost clock, whatever. Six core CPU, it does say it there. This one over here is a quad core. Wow, okay. Eight gigabytes, one SATA. Drive. I'm a big fan of that. This one's 128 gigabyte solid state drive, so I don't like that. Uh, DVD drive on this one. The other one's. Uh, this one is DVD drive. DVD drive is a big fan of that. Uh, AMD Radeon R7 240 two gigabytes. So we got some graphics going on here. These ones we just don't know. Okay, our power supply is a little bit scary. <laughs> 350 should be fine for six core CPU. Uh, I don't know about the graphics, but um, over here we only have 180 watts on this one, according to what it's telling us. Uh, can, the, it, it, can an 8-core CPU actually run on... Uh, wait a minute, is this an 8-core CPU? I, I thought it said it was. Um, where are we at? Okay, I'm, I'm lost now. Here it is, 64-bit quad-core processor, 8th gen i3. Hmm, and only 180 watts. What kind of graphics does this thing have? Does it have a Dorito? I think it has a Dorito chip. That's that's my guess. So solid state is tiny. We need a hard drive in this guy to get him off. The solid state's supposed to be less expensive than hard drives or something because a lot of people are, I mean, or it's just an advertising thing. People are like, oh, it's faster because it's a solid state. And it does, but yeah. So there's an optical drive, USB ports, audio ports, card reader, and all kinds of other fun stuff. But my question is about the eight core CPU and all this insanity. Okay. So Lenovo Idea Care Business Desktop Works Desktop Business Gray 8th Gen Intel Core i3 8100, 64 bit quad core. Quad core? What? It said there was eight. I saw, I saw eight, my, my blind, what did I see over here? What did I see? Am I looking at this wrong? It said, oh, quad, I thought it said eight. Okay, so, now we're getting back to reality. Okay, so, so this guy is more expensive because he has gigabit ethernet and, uh, solid state. And that's it. Okay. Yeah, wonderful. So, I think... Out of these five computers, this CyberPower PC right here is probably the best with the six-core uh, AMD CPU and the AMD FX. Um, where are we at? 
AMD Radeon R7 graphics because that's better than Intel graphics. Um, so yeah, SATA 3, 7200 RPM, gaming keyboard, gaming mouse. Obviously, you're going to need a monitor for this. Video memory, 2 gigabytes. You know, I saw a screen today at a sale that was 25 bucks. I should have bought that flat screen. I forgot about it. I should have, I should have given him some cash for that. Anyways, here we go. So, here's this computer. There's the keyboard. And uh, there's some buttons over there. I guess I could go back and get that. Um, get that thing. But anyways, here we go. There's our mouse. There's a keyboard. There's our computer. It's got USB ports and audio in the front. This is going to be our winner today in our competition. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to look up the Cyber Power PC on another website and put a link in the description. I'm not really sure. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty One True God? If you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audiobook, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. This video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call. These speed tests keep changing because some people are using this cell and they're not. Look, we're now at 50, 60. There we go again. This is what I was talking about, 63. We actually got up to 63 that time. Okay, we're going to upload again. 18.32 upload. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son. But let's take a look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It has a graphics card. Oh, my goodness. An actual graphics card. Power supply, 350 watts. Memory, 8 gigabytes. A single stick of memory. So, a single channel there. This will get you going. Um, we got... A fan in the front, a fan in the back, a fan on the CPU. I'm guessing, yeah, that's a stock. That looks like a stock heat sink to me. Um, you know, assuming the picture is what you're going to get. I, I, I don't know. I mean, they could upgrade stuff. They can do whatever they want to do. As long as you're getting, getting something good. Now, you can upgrade the graphics from R7 to 40 to GT 1030 if you want to. We can look at price difference on that. If they'll, oh, they're not gonna, they're gonna let us swap. Okay. And we get a slower CPU if we do that. So, four ninety nine. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe that CPU has like more cores or something. I don't know. It's three point four. So let's go down here. Speckles. It's beautiful. It's got DirectX twelve. It's DDR3. Ooh, wow, DDR3. That's like old fashioned there. Let's take a look at that. Um, how fast is our memory on this guy, on our winner? 1600, not terrible, not terrible. Um, it's definitely usable. So for doing homework, business computer applications, things like that, Especially if you were running Linux instead of Windows 10, this computer should be able to get it done. Especially since it has six cores and a dedicated graphics card. Uh, Windows 10 is going to run like Windows 10 on here. It's not going to be super, super, super fast, but um, it is a computer. So thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And just bless you. Please click the links in the description of the video. Go ahead and see you on Patreon and go to ChristianCourse.com. All the fun stuff. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. Well, thanks for watching the video. Subscriber Chicks are here to tell you to make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell. And that 4K videos are good for you. They're good for your health. The unboxing authority videos, you need to subscribe and watch them. 
And make sure you check out ChristianCourts.com, how to build a moped.com, how to win in court, which is all down in the description. And uh, make sure you check out the Blazing Hog 4G LT internet. You get $49.99 off. You want to get the best internet for your livestock and your poultry, you know. So make sure you get the best for them. So Blazing Hog 4G LT internet, that's what you need. All right. God bless you. Bye.